Hey guys, uh, this is my video. I just plasti dipped my car and I'm just showing what it looks like. I did the uh, I did the hood scoops which were very difficult to remove. There's some pins underneath that you have to you have to jiggle with. There's two of them holding it in place and then this just kind of pops up and then slides forward, but if you have if you have your hood tilt it up it'll slide down the hood and those uh, pins could scratch your paint this here was the hardest part you can't really see it too well with the lighting and it's cloudy and it's finally warmed up but you park your car outside facing the Sun for they some say 20 minutes I mean 30 minutes some say two hours I didn't have any Sun so I had a yank on these things really hard and but you just fit your fingers in there and pull and there's uh, two pins there two down here and one on each side so if you can if you can get one loose then it's pretty easy to feel around where the others are in the back but do be careful because these uh, honeycomb grills right in here this back part will dig into you and um, yeah it wasn't it wasn't pleasant the fog light grills were pretty easy. There's some there's some plastic pins holding it in place. There's one up here, one there, one there, one there. I don't remember if there was one on the side, but then there's two over here on the fog light. And you pretty much just pull these and once you get one side loose, you just kind of work your way out or just give it a a good pull. So those were very easy. I I did four coats of Plasti Dip for the fog light grills and these grills up here. And then I did two coats of uh, the clear coat or the Glossifier Plasti Dip. I found them at Walmart for $6.97, I think. I think you can get them at a hardware store for $6.87. So it was a 10 cents difference from if what people are saying is real or uh, is right. But I, I didn't care, it was cheap. It beat buying it online for $14 a can. And for these hood, sc hood scoops, I did not put any gloss on them. I, I kind of like the way these look. I figured these will get, I don't know, a bunch of sun. And well, now that I know how to remove these, are, they're pretty easy. So I could add two coats of gloss, but I really like the way it looks. Now, some people like to, to Plasti Dip the trim. I've found out why they like to plasti dip it because removing this silver trim this fake plastic chrome trim was very hard you had to pry it off with a screwdriver it's if if you if you did the whole park your car out in the sun thing there's no sun as you can see here there's just a bunch of clouds and it was 40 degrees so uh what i did was once i got this pulled off is i pressed on this forward and pulled on this uh, silver trim towards me. There's little notches on the back on each side of these where you can uh, kind of slip your finger in and pull on it or uh, push and pull and and they came off. They just popped right off but I broke a bunch of the pins that hold it in place. On this one I lost half of the pins and on this one I only lost two full sets of pins and they seem to be really stable. Or sturdy enough that you know I don't have to worry about them falling off these I hope I got them on um, I don't know if you can see but there's a little bit of white on here from where my hands were dirty and Plasti Dip still feels uh, soft so it's still uh, curing uh, uh, I didn't like I did this in my garage but I don't know if you can tell but there's um little fine fibers every every now and then on these uh on these uh what are you, uh, honeycomb grills and the same goes for this one too but all in all uh no one's going to be you know sticking their face up to my grills and going oh i wonder what how he did it or what is this so they went from faded to looking really nice and the black in the Chrome gives it a good contrast. So it was very easy. Um, I went on the G8 board form website. Uh, I think that's what it is. I can't, I don't know what it is. I just have it bookmarked, but lots of helpful tips on there. I still could not remove my side blinkers. I've been pulling on these things for about two days and they are still 
they're not coming off at all I don't think I will be adding any plasti dip to anything else on my car um, I won't do the wheels because I'm eventually just going to get some new wheels and if I can figure out how to remove those calipers I've seen some videos but they didn't exactly explain how to remove the calipers they just took the wheel off and disconnected a hose and it just popped right off I didn't see them remove any any screws so that I don't know but I, I would like to either paint those red or get some caliper covers and then get some new rotors because these are well they're just not not nice looking they're kind of rusty on on the very end there and such and the next thing I want to do is replace this amber light I've seen people black this out. I don't know how to do it with Plasti Dips, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, but I would like to replace those bulbs with some LED bulbs. And that is it. This took me um, a good, I want to say, for my first time, this took me about a good five hours because I'd wait 25 to 30 minutes before I would apply another coat of Plasti Dip. So it took a while, and it was... Played a little bit of Fallout 3 and watched some TV or while one part was uh, drying I would go ahead and work on a on another set of grills. And that's it. Overall it gives the car a very nice look. Really like the matte black hood scoops and the uh, glossed grills. It only did two coats of uh, gloss for this one too. Or maybe three. I don't remember. There was overspray because I had these next to those, and the wind blew and it just got spray, got gloss on the others. So I had to spray the others with more gloss to even it out. But I, I really like this look. So I guess that's it. Oh, I guess I could show you where those be. Never mind. Oh my God, it's a bee. Alrighty then. I don't know how to cut this out of the video, so. I'm allergic to bees, so enjoy enjoy watching me get a, get chased by bees. And I don't know what tint my windows are. But yeah. You can't see inside, but there we go. Hope, hope this was uh I don't know. In case you wanted to do it to yours or wanted to know what a white hot G8 looks like with them. <laughs> looks very nice.